Hi again, and welcome back to Top Solid 7. In this next video, we're going to create a CAM file. We're going to select a machining template. I think I'm going to use a Haas in this sample. And then we're going to go ahead and load our fixture uh, base plate subassembly here onto it. Then we're going to load each of these machine part setup documents onto the fixture plate so we're ready to start machining. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to go down to my machining folder here. I'm going to right mouse button click and choose to create a machining document. Here, I'm going to choose my Haas VF4 template. Now, it makes sense to have templates for things in Top Solid, especially when it comes to machining. For example, here you see my 3D model of my Haas VF4. I also have some tools in the carousel already. If we go check in there, you can see I have some tools preloaded up there already. This just makes things a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this base plate subassembly and drag and drop it into the CAM file. And I don't want to machine this. I want to include it as a fixture. There we go. Now I'm just going to start selecting the faces I want to use for positioning. I want to position this right on that face. I want to take this front face right to that clamp face. And then let's take this face here to maybe the outside of the table. And then we'll add a nice big offset to it. How about uh, 8 inches? Let's see what that looks like. Oops, that's going the wrong way. Let's go there. Perfect. Done. The next thing it's going to ask you is, what is the kinematic element? In other words, what moving element on this machine does this have to follow? Well, it's simple. It has to follow the table. So wherever the table moves, this base plate is going to move also. We're going to go ahead and hit Save. Now what we want to do is we want to start adding these operations. So let's just drag the OP1 MPS file in. Oops, pardon me, didn't grab it. There we go. We do want to create a machinable part, and we will go ahead and you know what, let's turn on faceted stock. It's just a faster stock update. And now we're going to position. So I want to take the bottom face of my stock right here to here. I want to take that drilling to this drilling. And why not that drilling to that drilling? Perfect. Notice how it turned from blue to purple, or purple to blue, excuse me. I'm going to validate the positioning group. And here we have our first offset. I'm going to set that to 54 for right now. Nice. I'm going to do that again for OP2, OP3, and OP4. So let's drag and drop OP2. Oop, I keep missing it. Faceted stock. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and grab the bottom face of the stock. Toss it right there. I'm going to grab the drilling. Put it in the tapped hole. Grab the drilling. And again, here I'm using that rotative selection that you've seen me use in all the other videos. It's a handy tool for just working quickly and efficiently. Now I'm going to edit this. We're going to make this offset 55. And we'll continue on setting up the machine. So we'll go ahead and drag that in. Faceted stock. Done. Let's pluck this up a little bit. Let's grab this bottom face here. Oops. There we go. We'll zoom up to right there. Again, let's grab that. Pop it in that hole. Grab that. Pop it there. That one's done. Of course, we're going to modify that origin right away to be, what were we, 54, 55? This will be 56. Of course, you could use extended offsets. You can use whatever offsets you need. And now we're going to go ahead and drag this one in. Green check. Let's do the same thing. Grab that bottom face down to there. And let's, let's align, pardon me, that drilling with that drilling, that with that. Perfect. And finally, we're going to go ahead and edit this, and we're going to make that 57. Awesome. So just to have a quick look at what we've done, we have added our custom fixture plate to the table of the machine. We've loaded up each of our MPS files, and again, that's really important to be able to do that so that we can tell Top Solid which are the parts to cut, which are the parts... Uh, or which is the stock for the parts and any fixture elements that we want to avoid in any of the cuts as well. We'll get to those as we start programming the parts in the next video. 